are two types of fees on a course in Student Manager. One is a primary fee. Uh, you can create as many as you want. The individual has to pick one, or the registrar would pick one for the student. <clears throat> Optional fees or other fees, you can have an unlimited number of other fees. An individual can pick some or none or multiples of the same. Uh, and there are different fee types or categories. Mandatory, which you can require to be a mandatory optional fee. A coupon fee, typically for discounts. An inventory tracking fee, if you wanted to track inventory on a uh, optional sales item, the sale of a book or the sale of a supply kit. And then the other, which would be the normal, just optional fee, additional lunch, additional uh, uh, parking pass, uh, a fee. And so that is on the fee side. We'll cover that a bit more when we get into an options. I do want to say one other thing about fees. Early bird, a couple more. Early bird fees. Uh, how many people use early bird fees right now? I'm going to show your hands up. Raise your hand if you're using early bird fees. All right, all right, we've got a few on there. And again, a big deal on early bird fees is the theory that by getting people a bit of a discount, you or, let, let, me, let me rephrase that, uh, or raising the regular fee. And, and again, the trick on this is a way to <clears throat> increase your fees is that you take the regular fees you're charging call those the early bird fee and set them up to expire two weeks, 14 days, 21 days before the start of the class, and then raise the, quote, regular fee. And that's a sneaky way to allow you to, uh, to raise your fee prices and yet still say, hey, we're giving you a break. We're, if you register early, you get the same price. The other thing that's new about fees, and this is in the new 7.2a, so this is a new feature is that in ACEWeb, you could set up fees on a course that would automatically apply a percentage discount if the person put in a coupon code or, or picked a particular fee type. That now is supported in the student manager side. So you can have discount fee options that are percent discounts if you enter the amount as a negative as a percentage that is less than one dollar and that you call it C for coupon. <clears throat> you can automatically apply percentage discounts when you're doing registrations from student manager. That's new again in 7.2. All right, Lori, doing good? We're doing very well. <clears throat> All right, instructors. Uh, we're now off to the third tab, the instructor tab. Uh, to start adding instructors to a new course, the plus button handles that. Uh, you actually, again, and when you pick the drop-down list, you can add a new instructor on the fly. Uh, each one of these instructors can have their own pay rate. And of course, the payoff for you is that when you do the pay information, you're able to use the system to generate faculty contracts, teaching agreements, and also at the end of the class, generate payroll requests to go to to HR. Okay, I should hit the right button here. Instructor fees. Um, one of the dilemmas is uh, sometimes you get into paying a preparation fee or you want to give them some mileage reimbursement. Uh, the miscellaneous pay description is a place where you can put in a, a description and just add a flat dollar amount for the amount of additional fee you might want to give to an instructor. Uh, instructor evaluations, the, the evaluation field, anything you store in here about the evaluations is part of the instructor's permanent record. So it does give you a great way to get a quick overview of how instructor student evaluations uh, are receiving, how the instructors are evaluating your, I'll get that right, student evaluations of the instructor, how those ratings might occur over time. Okay, we're on to the next tab, comments. Uh, registration warning message, again, um, this is useful if, if you publish classes and then discover after you've published the classes, printed the brochure, that there was an error in the text, you've had, or you've just had to change a class because of schedule conflict of an instructor, 
put in a note there, and that will pop up on the screen when some somewhat when your staff goes to enroll a student in that course. Uh, reference document <clears throat> on the course screen. There's the ability to tie one document to the class, whether it's a syllabus, whether it's a contract for a contract class. Uh, you can reference it in that f f field. Notes for the receipt. Uh, again, information that you'd want to put on the receipt that goes to the individual. Uh, it can go on the email receipt and also on printed receipt. Uh, tickler notes. Uh, there is a spot on the course screen to put in a callback date to remind you or remind a staff person to do some activity on the class. And uh, again, the callbacks are basically for that reminder. If you want to tell the coordinator, if you've got an associate who's supposed to be helping you do some work on a class, you can put in their name and a date, <clears throat> and uh, it'll pop up in their uh, to-do list when they get into student management. Callbacks. Go up to callback. I, I skip back. <clears throat> Last tab on the screen, ACEWEB. And again, uh, if you don't have ACEWEB, this is not relevant for you. Uh, and in fact, you can turn it off if you care. But basically, this, of course, is the screen where you determine how this course would appear on your uh, web page uh, with ACEWEB. <clears throat> and I'm not going to get into the full details on this. Uh, there is a pretty good section in the help side of it. Um, the other thing I would note, if you have not discovered this, if you're the course setter-upper at your school program, that when you're in the system and you're setting up a class, once you've saved this class, you can hit the preview ACEWEB course status page and you're able to actually view this class in your pages how exactly it would look, which is a great way to get a quick proof, make sure you, uh, you've got all of your ducks in a row as far as the detail on the class. 